Hi guys, this is Sam from Walkgate Studios. I hope you're well. Um, this video is gonna be uh, on uh, dark aluminum, gunmetal, and the uh, normal aluminum uh, from AK True Metals. Um, before I get into what these are, I just wanna give a big shout out to this video sponsor. This video is sponsored by a shop, a hobby shop in Vancouver, Washington called Dice Age Games. They're a fantastic family run um, hobby store. They've got a brilliant selection of modeling and paints there, full Vallejo, color, air. They've got army paint and stuff, the new speed paints. They've got a really good selection of Games Workshop. 40K, Age of Sigma, all that good stuff. D&D, &D, they carry a lot of box games. There's some great gaming space there as well. So can't really say um, too much more about them because they're so awesome. So uh, thanks to Dice Age Games for sponsoring the video. Um, they uh, gave me these to review for them because it's a new product on the market from AK Interactive, so or a newer product. Over the last sort of six months, these guys have, have been released. And to give you an idea of what these are, they're a kind of wax. If you actually read on the back of it, it's, it basically says a colored wax, specially designed for modeling. It can be applied with a brush or a cotton swab and you polish it to get a ultra realistic finish of metal. So I thought, well, I've got to try this out for, for 40K modeling and potentially uh, war gaming and those sorts of things. I've got to try it out. So one of the things that I was, um, I'm going to do now is grab a base. Um, I've got this, all of this stuff because it's a wax is um, oil based. So you're going to need some uh, mineral spirits. This is a, a ton of it from uh, Home Depot that I bought for like six bucks. Hell of a lot cheaper than going to anywhere else. Um, and uh, you don't you don't need a lot of it. Uh, so you're gonna definitely need some of that to start with. So I'm just gonna pour some of this out. What I did do, um, and I can quickly show you, is I pre-primed a couple of bits of Necron, uh, uh, sorry, not Necron, some towel um, vehicles. And I'm gonna be using this to document it because there's quite a lot of large panels. So um, just so that I sort of, so I can document this and, and see exactly how good it is. Um, I'm gonna start with the darker. Um, I'm gonna do different patches, because I've done front, back, and I may well do all three on, on one side so you can kind of see the differences in the finishes. Um, but three different ones. They do colored versions of this as well. Um, they do a ton of, uh, I think about 15, maybe, 10, 15 different versions of these waxes. So I'm gonna try each of them out um, and see where we see where we are with it and what sort of finishes you can get from it. So um, this one is gonna be the dark aluminum. The one thing that I, um, let me see if it actually says it on here. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna just need to keep these with the packaging because they don't indicate on there what ones they are. Oh, it does on the back. Okay, so dark aluminum. Um, and then we've got gun metal on this one. And then we have the true aluminum, which is the brightest one of the lot that's gonna be there. So different varies, there's brownie versions of this and, and everything else. So yeah, there's a lot of variety out there, but as I said, I just, I, something brand new, I wanted to try it out and see where we're at with it. So I'm gonna try with the gun metal, cause that's the darkest one to start with. Um, and just sort of see how this, this comes out. Okay, so it looks pretty, pretty thick to start with. I'm just gonna take a, a chunk of this off of the tube. It's like an oil paint, basically. Um, just see how it, it spreads on there. Okay, so it's, it's, it looks like a, uh, it, it kind of looks like a, an acrylic paint, um, but it's not, it's oil-based. So yeah, you can smell it as well, that it's 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 oil-based. So um, odorless paint dinners is the best best thing that you're gonna, you're gonna get with this. All right, so that's gonna be the gun metal. I'm just gonna wash that out in my mineral spirits. And then we're gonna try the dark aluminum next. 
see what that comes out at. And then really what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna, um, yeah, you can kind of see this is brighter already. Um, I'm going to uh, leave this to dry and I, I believe this takes quite a while to dry because it's um, oil based. Um, but uh, I'm gonna yeah, give this a good, good amount of time to dry um, and then come back and actually buff it up. So it requires a bit of polishing. So we'll see how that works. Um, and then what the kind of finish is gonna be with this as well. So um, yeah, it, it applies pretty nice. It's, it's like a thick uh, base paint type um, finish on it. So that's super interesting. Um, but again, it looks like it's very, very high pigment and you can kind of tell from that finish already. Very, very high pigment. I'm gonna go for the brightest one now, um, which is the, the true aluminum, and see how this goes on as well. And I got a feeling this is gonna be super bright. If that middle one there is dark aluminum, then uh, the, the true aluminum is gonna be ridiculous. So, yep, even brighter, so. Not too much difference between the two aluminums, but there is a, a difference, a slight, slight difference between the dark and the light. I can't actually tell that much. It's very, very slight. You probably can't tell it on the camera, um, but a very, very slight change from the aluminum to dark aluminum, so it might be something to bear in mind. Um, but yeah, we're gonna leave that to dry now and I'm gonna come back and check out exactly what type of finish it, it, it will give on there once I start buffing it out. Uh, okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've given this an hour to, um, to dry out. Um, definitely dry to the touch. And now I'm gonna actually grab a cotton bud and try and work this and buff this up and see exactly what sort of finish we get with it. Um, it looks pretty good anyway, as, as just a metallic paint. Um, but I'm gonna sort of see what we can do. And you might be able to sort of tell already, just buffing this up. It takes some of the wax off, but it actually looks like it polishes quite nicely. Interesting effect. It's kind of got a grainy, grainy, slight grainy effect from the wax. And again, I think this will reflect what type of prime you give it as well. Um, and if you, the smoother the prime you get, the more it's gonna gonna reflect in in the polish. Um, but it looks pretty good. I kind of like it. I've left the kind of line there. So you can kind of see a, a defined line. Let's try and polish up the middle part and see exactly what that polishes up like. This is the dark aluminum in this middle part. You can see it takes off a little bit. I can kind of see this working out nicely with like greenites or something like that where you just want to kind of automatically highlight. This is, this is gonna definitely uh, help with the highlighting side of models quite a bit. Uh, I'm gonna get another another uh, Q-tip and work on this and kind of see exactly what we can buff this up to. Uh, it's super interesting. It's a new, as I said, it's a new type of, of something. You can kind of see that on the edges here, it really is starting to, to come up quite nice and metallic. Um, but because it's a wax, I'm guessing you know the, the more you work it, the more you're going to get out of it. Um, but super interesting. I'm, I'm kind of uh, trying to think of, of all of the types of applications this might have in modelling side of things. Um, and it's, it's it's yeah. I think this is a technology that's definitely going to be able to be used. Let's start on the bright aluminum and let's see exactly what we can get on this as, as, a, as a type of effect. 
Sorry if I'm shaking the camera, it just it needs a lot of buffing work on this to get this looking kind of good. And I, I was hoping for a chromey look, you know, so it's it's nice and bright. I'm gonna try another. I'm gonna go through quite a, a few bits of, of this. Um, and I'm thinking that, that yeah, we, we should be able to get this up to a nice, oh, there you go. There's some chromey brightness coming through there. Um, one thing I would suggest is trying to, instead of going in a circular motion, trying to go in, in some sort of uniformed polishing um, motion. I know there's the kind of like, there's a gent, but you can kind of see there, if I start on the circular side of things, that it kind of leaves a, a circular motion on it. But I think that, you know, this, this really has got some good potential to be, uh, Quite, quite interesting on some uses with Warhammer. Um, again, if you've got lots of vehicles or something like that, um, this shines up quite nice. I, I think you can kind of tell all of the, the three different types of aluminum there. Um, but again, if you're gonna go for it like chromey, I'm gonna try the other way and see if we can polish it up going this way. See what sort of finish we can get. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think on, a, on an application side of things, on a model, highlighting and uh, and, and shading something, obviously you'll get a non-polished uh, metal in the grooves and, and on, on the seams and those sorts of things. And then the, uh, the the parts that are gonna be, you're gonna be more brushing are gonna be the, the more shiny. So I think it definitely has some sort of a level of application. Um, and you can kind of go crazy. You can kind of see here that it's coming off in my hands as well, because it is a wax. So you don't, like, as far as handling it, I would definitely, you know, the next next process for me would be to um, to, to clear coat this uh, so that it's hand. It, you can you can use it on with your hands and pick up your models. I'm just just for the sake of it, I'm going to try instead of the cotton buds, actually just getting a bit ripping a bit of this uh, kitchen towel off and seeing what you can kind of come up with with this and see whether you can kind of get any better finish on this. It does take it off. So this is one of those things that the wax is gonna, gonna come off. Um, but uh, yeah, it's an interesting finish. It, it does give like that, especially where I've gone a little bit heavy now where you can kind of see it going down to the prime. Um, for weathering purposes as well, and kind of see it on uh, you know having some sort of benefits on there but very realistic looking I really really like the realistic side of this very shiny very bright um, and again for metal machinery parts and those sorts of things it looks great um, I'm gonna, obviously with it being AK interactive it'll be interesting to sort of see how it, it goes with some of their weathering um, parts, but yeah, uh, I didn't really see much difference between the aluminum and the dark aluminum. But the gun metal, there's definitely a, a difference between the gun metal down here and the aluminum over here. But um, yeah, interesting product. And as I said, if you've got like Necrons or lots of metal machinery, um, I can definitely see this being an interesting tool and a wax to use um, over the top of uh, a decent prime but again it, it looks like you know whatever you're gonna wax well, it very smooth very smooth surface um but i would i would for sure uh, get this this uh, clear coated up um and and kind of see and it's it, it, you can scratch it i'm gonna just uh grab grab my fingernail to see how whether it scratches yeah you can kind of scratch on it as well see the scratches there and I've just put in I'm just gonna see if I can buff that out again yeah I think it buffs out yeah so you know it's very very interesting the use of waxes and those sorts of things um, but again the more you work it the more you're gonna kind of go back down to that that uh, black prime um, that I had on there but yeah uh, interesting and I may well use it for some some project going forward but uh, yeah uh, thanks again for Dice Age to donating these for me to try out. Um, the, the products were uh, the True Metal range from AK Interactive. Um, and as I said, yeah, very realistic, chromey look. 
um, and metal looks for, on things. Um, and this is definitely a product that I would strongly suggest. Um, well, you, you will need to, you can just sort of see how much is coming off here. Um, you need to clear coat this and get this sealed and then you're good to go. But there we go. Uh, thanks ever so much again to Dice Age Games for sponsoring this video and if you like and want me to do more of these videos um, going forward please feel free to message me and let me know and uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Cheers.